world gone mad. On the university under siege. Authorities will falter. And pandemonium. Oh my gosh! Prevail. Is all hope lost? Who will save us from this discord? It's flipped calculus! You know, the standard college calculus class is one where you sit at a desk, write down whatever the instructor writes down on the blackboard, put it into your notes, never look at it again, open a textbook, try to do the assignments, which they call problems, and I hate that word, and you turn it in and you iterate. Once the course is over, you're happy to forget everything about the subject. What I'm trying to do in this flipped calculus class is to really take calculus and, and flip it on its head. And to have students actively engaged and participate in the thinking behind the calculus. It's no longer enough just to think about calculus, we have to think through calculus. Which means we have to develop problem solving skills and means and modes of analysis which will allow us not only to crack open the mysteries of a beautiful subject such as calculus, but also to crack open the mysteries of the beautiful subjects all around us. Whether it's literature, in the humanities, whether it's the arts, the social sciences, or the other natural sciences, the truth is that thinking is the key to unlock anything. And through a flipped calculus class, we offer all the diversity of keys to unlock the mind. Switch, 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 switch. Come on, really fast. Switch, 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 switch. Basically, what I'm doing in a flipped calculus course is inverting the roles of homework and classwork. Traditionally, you sit in the class, the teacher pontificates, the students sleep, and then afterwards, at home, the student tries to engage with the subject actively. A flipped calculus class is one where you watch some videos, in this case of me, lecturing and thinking about the ideas of calculus and the basics, and then in class, where we're together live, it's totally interactive and engaging. It's almost as if you're doing the, the homework assignment in class. The students are actively engaged, they're participating, they're at the blackboards writing things up, they're working in teams, they're making mistakes, I'm engaging with them, and so it's happening live. So I really am a big fan of the teaching style in the mathematics department at Southwestern. We do a lot of kind of inquiry-based learning. The professors are amazing about getting us up to the board, working in groups, we're describing problems to each other, talking about conceptually what something means, graphically, how can we visualize this problem, instead of just doing mechanical kind of rote memorization things. We're gonna see the velocity, here we go, here's the velocity, let's see it, here we go, here's the velocity. Yeah, yeah, did you see that? The class is, is a very intense class. We only meet once a week for three hours from seven o'clock to 10 o'clock at night. It's almost as if it's a secret society. And then throughout the rest of the week, students are required on a regular basis to do certain homework assignments. And those homework assignments include online exercises where they're actually watching some of these short videos and then doing some online assessment, as well as some written assignments where they're writing things up, including actually a couple of little short papers as well. So throughout the week, they're engaging in thinking about the ideas of calculus. And then when we reconvene on Monday night, it's a chance for us to engage in a conversation about what we've learned, where the confusing moments are, and how to move that knowledge and understanding and intuition forward.